Peace to you, my family in Christ, and welcome to another devotion. Thank God for fathers and praise God on yesterday for a celebration, for a time of thanksgiving and praise to our God for fathers, mighty men of valor, male man. We honor God for every father and we thank God for the opportunity that we've had to celebrate, to receive to give thanks, to give back. What a mighty God we serve, fathers. And we honor God for you. We honor God for us. For this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the week of the devil's defeat. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I want to celebrate our fathers again today. Indeed, encourage us to take the advice written in Hebrews 4, verse 16. That's our meditation today. And we want to look to God, who's our help, for our responsibilities are enormous. They are very vital and important. We need the help of Heavenly Father, and we need to continue before Him day and night, night and day, and seeking His help, waiting on His help, letting His help lead and guide us, even now. Our meditation, Hebrews 4, 16 says, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. The word of God to the people of God. Indeed, Jesus is our high priest. We can feel free to come before God's throne, fathers, where there is grace, grace greater than all our sins, all of our affairs, all of our issues, grace, the unmerited favor of God, we could obtain grace and find mercy, help, kindness, because we need it. We need it to rear children. We need it to love our spouses, to serve our families. We need God's grace to help us in times of need. The throne of God is his authority. So when we come with humility to his throne, we are saying authority help us. Sovereign God help us. And he is willing to give grace where it is complete. Grace represents the complete work of Christ. By grace are we saved through faith, not of ourselves, but it is the gift of God. We can obtain love and forgiveness in the presence of the grace of God. When we come, we receive mercy. When we come to God, we receive help. But we need it, fathers. We need it even to deal with our own selves, judge our children and our spouses. For our God, he is the greatest. Our God is esteemed above all. Our God is perfect in his character. Our God is gracious. He is wonderful. He is magnificent. We can obtain grace from him, but we got to come to him. We got to come to him humble. We got to come to him, indeed, giving ourselves over completely to him. And he hears us and he rewards us even now. Father, we thank you for every earthly father today. We praise you even in celebration. When we commit to you today, in commitment, we say we are coming. We are here to the grace of God, to the throne, to the authority of God, where we can obtain help to handle our own personal issues, to handle the issues of our families, to handle the issues of our children. We need your divine help. We need your divine guidance. Without you, we are lost. So we come boldly to the throne of grace. We come crying, Abba, our Father, who art in heaven. Thank you. 
that we recognize you today. Help our spirit, help our attitude to be so humble today as we come to you boldly to your throne. We need help. We need help. You have given us an example. You've shown us the way. May we walk in it. May we abide in you. Your word abide in us as fathers that we can act what we will. And you promise it shall be done. Thank you for the grace and mercy that we can obtain in you only, O oh God. It's lasting. It's forever. It's genuine. It is from love. And we give you praise. As we pray, we raise those who lead the nations this morning, including our prime minister and all of parliament and their families. We raise them to you today. We say, Lord, have mercy and help them to come boldly to the throne of grace. We give you thanks for leaders everywhere, particularly those of us who lead the body of Christ. Help us to follow hard after you, knowing you, O oh God, is life eternal. We thank you for the peace of Jerusalem, for families everywhere, for believers everywhere, for fathers everywhere today. We commend to you that we will be humble before you today. In the name of the Father, we will give you praise in the name of the Son. In the name of Holy Spirit, we give you thanks. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, fathers. Strengthen you to live righteous before your family, your community. God is watching. He's depending on us. Let's do it. Let's stay before his throne. Let's stay before him. Let's seek him. He's willing to help us. We can find grace to help in time of need before the throne of God. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen.